everyone. I have a brand new exercise today and this is actually a time challenge. It's exercise number 50 and I'm going to go over the description of the exercise. There are five different exercises that we're going to be doing. We're going to be doing a lot of squatting. Um, I try, this will be my third time doing this exercise and I'm going to tell you straight out, each time I did it, the next day I was sore. Okay, so be ready, be ready. Uh, and make sure you do these with correct form. Um, that's important. But what you're going to need to do, uh, for one of the exercises, you are going to need to get some free weights. You're going to need to get like a, a dumbbell. I have a 10 pound dumbbell, which we're going to be using um, for one of the exercise. So, first thing we're going to do is um, I'm going to start with full squats, but you're going to jump into a full squat. So you're going to just jump up and come all the way down, okay? And then you're going to come up and then halfway, and we're going to do two sissy squats and then come back up and jump all the way down, two sissy squats, okay? So you're going to do 10 repetitions of these. And I'm going to tell you, these are killer, okay? Another way you can do this is if you want to just jump up, come down, and come all the way up, and then do two sissy squats, okay? That's fine too. And then jump up. Either way, I tried it both ways, and they work, okay? So you can do alternating if you wanted to. But the, the main thing is you're going to feel them on your quads. You're going to feel the burn, and then you're also going to feel them on your hamstrings, which is the back of your leg, okay? So you're going to feel that. So you count each time you do the jump and do the full squat. So 10 reps, okay? Then we're going to get down on the floor, and we are going to do a sit-up or no presses. I'm going to go this way. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to bring the weight in front of you, curl up as you come up, and then do arm on presses. And then as you go down, you want to curl down. And curl up and arm on presses. Okay? Here's the front view. Down. Curl up. Arm on press. Back down. Curl up. Okay, so you're going to do 10 of these. And believe me, your shoulders are going to be like crying just from exhaustion from doing the other exercises. You can do 10 pound dumbbells or you can start with five. It's up to you. My shorts are falling off. Okay, um, the next one, it's gonna be a knee lift, front lunge, and then a side squat. Okay, so what you wanna do is you wanna do, a, but each time you wanna be lifting your knees. So, what we wanna do is we wanna lift the knee, come down, drop into a lunge, go up, lift the knee, and then come out to the side. Now you can bring the knee in the front and come into a squat or you can come into a side kick position and side kick and then squat if you want extra challenge for yourself. Okay? Then you're going to go the other side. Knee, squat, knee, side kick, then lunge or just knee and squat. A deep squat please if you will. Okay? Um, each time you're squatting, you count that as one rep. So that's alternating. You're going to be doing uh, five and five or ten on each side, right? Uh, you're going to be doing, it's, it, it's going to be equivalent to five on each side, okay? But it's ten all together. So it's going to look something like this. That's one. Two. Three, if you want to add the kick. Four, if you want to add the kick. You don't have to. I don't do it, okay? I just basically bring the knee up because I want to work the, the core. So that's it. I just want to show you on the side view when you're doing the knee up. You're coming down soft. Don't let your knees go beyond your toes. And the back leg needs to come up. See the heel up? Okay, that's important. Okay, you don't do it like this, okay? Keep this heel pointing straight up and lunge, just drop so that your leg is 90 degree angle. Come back up, you can slide back down and then do the knee and go to the squat and then, um, you know, you know the rest. So that's it guys. Um, just 
key thing is that don't drop, okay, and, and, and collapse into your lunges. Make sure that they are nice and soft, you're landing softly, and then you're dropping softly, nice and controlled. Just think of your legs as pistons, okay? They're pistons. They're working you out. Ten of those, then you're going to get back down on the floor. And this time, what you want to do, this is like choking me. What you want to do is you want to lift your hip off, off the floor. I don't know if you can see that with my sweatshirt. Okay, you lift that up, and you're going to extend your leg, one side, and you're going to lift up, okay, with your core, and then bring it down, and then do hip, hip ups. Okay, and then you're going to continue without dropping, keep your leg, keep your uh, bum off the floor, and lift up again. That's one, two. That's three, okay? And then when you get to five, you're going to switch and go the other, do the other leg. Okay, so after doing these exercises and you're sweaty and you're tired, these things hurt and you're going to feel them on your hamstring, on the pushing leg, okay? And as you're pulling the leg up, don't swing the leg, do it with nice and control, okay? Try to really engage your core and your quadricep muscles to pull the leg in. You don't have to bring it all the way in, just bring it, you know, vertical. Uh, 90 degree angle and then bring it down slow and control without dropping your hips okay so you're gonna do five on five that counts just 10 reps and then the last one is the five burpees so we know what burpees look like right we're just gonna jump up into a plank and jump that's two when you do the push up okay so jump up and if you can't jump up you live in an apartment that's fine just Okay, that's fine too, that's acceptable. Go at your own range, go at your own pace, and let's just get this ball rolling. It's hot in here, and I got sweatshirts, um, and I'm already sweating. Freedailyexercise.com Get it done at home.